So we are going to write a, another program using the call feature here on uh, the Teach Pendant. Um, in this case, if I have some simpler type of programs uh, that I'm working on, and maybe I have multiple locations where I'm more or less having the robot do the same type of uh, thing, uh, or if I just want to kind of rerun one program for another, uh, I can do what is called a call, and I can call the program that I want to do. So in order to write this uh, program, so I'm going to have my uh, new instruction here. So I'm going to hit new instruction. Notice now here we're given registers, if, select, jump label, uh, palletizing, input, output, wait, or call. So I'm going to select the call button. And in this case, we will call a program. Now, as soon as I hit the call program, a list of all the programs that are stored in this uh, happen to come about. So in this case, we're going to call uh, the box program. So here is my box program, VTC box, and I will hit enter. So, and that brings that in. Now, I'm going to go to end here and new instruction. So we're going to call another one. So let's go call program. All right, and we'll go ahead and toggle down till we see the next uh, box program. Uh, in this case, uh, we use that one. So let's go ahead, we'll enter that. And we'll just for fun, we'll do one more here so I can go bring this down. So uh, again, new instruction, call, call the program. So toggle down to, uh, we'll go to the next uh, call one that we have. So, uh, or for the next box program here. So let's go, oh, here we go. SLS box, we'll use that one and enter. So now I have these three boxes uh, and this is gonna call. Now, let's go back through and we will step this out. So, and we'll see how the robot kind of works with this. Uh, but as it goes, so we'll start back up on the first line and this will read in and pull the program for BTC box, that program. It'll run all the way through that. When it finishes that, it's going to come back to the call BTC program. Then it'll read through all of the call JAT box, uh, and it will just run through each of those as you go. So, so this is a real simple uh, way to have simpler tasks or simpler movements put in place and then to just have all of those combined into one program. You do have to make sure that you're careful and uh, paying attention to the selections as far as the tools and positioning um, and user frames that are in there uh, so that you know where it's going. But since we all kind of program the box at the same, we can kind of use the box programs like this. We could all use the circle programs like this because they were kind of all programmed uh, the same way and we can uh, have these go from one to another as we look at this program. So this is the first box program that I uh, this is mine that I programmed. So, goes all the way through, finishes it, goes back to the safe position. Uh, called in the JAT's box. Now it's going, this is a different box, but it kind of does the same one. He just changed different program or different point than I did. It's kind of following through, it's going back up. And here is the last one. Notice the difference in points as far as our save points. So, and this one's going to run all the way through 
uh, these here as well. Just a different way, of course, all those points were saved. Um, if we had these in three different locations on there, uh, we could run it, and that's the whole program ran complete. All right, and there's an example of your call command.